All right. Quiz review, longer one. Remember, the answers are on the back of the packet, but let's go through and see how we do this. Okay. It helps to label. So if you have a 60 here, remember this is 30 right there. So V is my short side, this is my long side, and that's my hypotenuse. So short leg, long leg, hypotenuse. It just helps if you keep everything labeled and you know on track. So I always want to go to my short side. From my short side, sorry, from the hypotenuse to my short side is divide by two. So V is not two, V is eight. And then to go from my short side of eight to here, I'm getting bigger, I'm multiplying by radical three, so U is eight radical three. Number two is a 45, 45, 90. These two are the legs. They are equal to each other. So if one is four, this is four. And then how do I go from a leg to a hypotenuse? I simply multiply by radical two. So M equals four radical two. Number three. Notice, it's a 45, 45, 90. My magic radical is radical 2. I'm going from the longest side, the hypotenuse, to a leg. Doesn't matter which one I do first, because they're going to be the same. Okay? I'm getting smaller. So I'm going to divide by that magical radical. So I do 10 divided by radical 2. I rationalize. And I get 10 radical 2 over simply 2. And these two cancel because 2 goes into 10 five times. So x and y are 5 radical 2. I have another 45, 45, 90. This is my hypotenuse. This got to be the same because these are equal to each other. So right at the bat, I know that y is radical 2. Now, how do I go from a leg to the hypotenuse? Radical 2 times radical 2, which is simply 2. So the hypotenuse is 2. Number 5. What do I have? Well, here's my hypotenuse. There's my short leg. This is 60, so I have the long leg. What do I always want to get back to? the short leg. From longer to shorter, I am getting smaller, so I divide. What's my ra magical radical here? Radical 3. So I'm going to divide by radical 3. So I just do the math. 5 radical 3 divided by radical 3. Cancel. So y is 5. And how do I go from the short leg to the hypotenuse? Well, I'm getting bigger, so I multiply and simply by 2. So y is 5, and x is 10. Now I'm back to a 45, 45, 90. x and y are the same. I'm going from the hypotenuse, the longest leg, longest side, to a leg. So I must be dividing by radical 2. That's my magical radical. So 8 radical 2 divided by radical 2 means simply that x and y are both eight. Okay, 45, 45, 90. These are both the same. So this is a five radical two right here. How do I go from a leg to the hypotenuse? I multiply by radical two. So V is five radical two, the same as the other leg. And then off to the side, I'm going to do 5 radical 2 times a radical 2, which is the same thing as 5 times 2. So that means u is 10. All right, what do I have? I have the short leg. I'm going to go to the, 
sorry, another half value is the log length first. Then we're going to multiply by radical three. So that's simply all I do is just take radical three and tack it onto the two. That's all you do. And then how do I go from the short leg to the hypotenuse? I'm getting bigger, and I double it. So x is 2 times 2, which is 4. Number 9, I have a 45, 45, 90. So these two are equal. That's my hypotenuse. So n is 6. And the hypotenuse, all I do is multiply to get bigger by radical 2. So that's 6 radical 2, and that's m. Over here I have another 45, 45, 90. These are equal, but what I have is hypotenuse. So to go to the leg, I'm going to divide by radical 2. So off to the side, I'm going to divide. I can't have that, so I must rationalize. That gives me 2 radical 2 over 2. These cancel. So m and n are simply just radical 2. And again, that makes sense. If I do this, I multiplied by radical 2. Radical 2 times itself is simply 2. So I can check my work. Number 11. I have a 30, 60, 90. Short, long. Hypotenuse. So I always want to go to the short first, which means I'm dividing by radical 3. So 6 divided by radical 3. I must rationalize. Remember, radical 3 and 6 don't cancel. One's an outside number, one's an inside. So that gives me 6 radical 3 over 3, and that canceled reduces to 2. So n is simply 2 radical 3. And then from here to there, I just multiply by 2. The outside number only. So m is 4. The radical 3 stays radical 3. Another 30, 60, 90. But what do I have? I have a hypotenuse. Always go to the short leg first. So I'm going to go from here to here. And since I'm getting smaller, I'm going to divide. And from the hypotenuse to the short leg, we simply divide by 2. So with 4 radical 3 divided by 2 cancels. And so n is 2 radical 3. That's right here. Now, how do I go from here to here? Well, if I'm going from the short leg to the long leg, I'm getting bigger. So I multiply. And my rat magic radical is 3. Radical 3. So 2 radical 3 times another radical 3, just tack it on, is the same thing as 2 times 3. So that means m is 6. Okay, number 13. Again, what do we have? We have the long side. So we need to go to the short side, which means we're going to divide by radical 3. Well, if we do that, radical 3 divided by itself is 1. And then if we double that, that's 2. So y is 1, x is 2. 45, 45, 90. We have the hypotenuse. So that means we are getting smaller, and we divide by our magic radical 2. So 8 divided by radical 2, we must rationalize. 8 radical 2 over simply 2, which divides nicely into 8 and gives us 4. So x and y are 4 radical 2. Remember, hit pause if you need to at any point in this. All right, these are the same, which means y right off the bat is 4 radical 2. To go from the leg to the hypotenuse, I get bigger, so I multiply by radical 2. So 4 radical 2 times another radical 2 is the same thing as 4 times 2, which makes x equal to 8. Okay, what do I have here? 
I do not have the short side. This is 60, so I have the long side. So to go to the short side, I do 10 divided by radical 3. I must rationalize. Which gives me 10 radical 3 over 3. And that's it. I cannot reduce 10 and 3. So y is 10 radical 3. And how do I go from the short leg to the hypotenuse? Simply double the outside number only. So 10 doubled is 20. The radical 3 stays radical 3. Seventeen is a forty-five, forty-five, ninety. These are equal. So why I'm done already? It's five. And how do I go from here to here? I just tack on a radical two. What do I have here? Oh, this is a nice one. I have the short leg, so I can go from here to the hypotenuse and double it. I can go from here to the long leg and just tack on a radical three. So x is three times two. And y is, well, 3 times radical 3, and that's it. Okay, what do I have here? Well, I have the long leg, but nicely it's radical 3. So when I divide by radical 3, it's just going to cancel. So when I do 3 radical 3 divided by radical 3, I'm left with this 3. And how do I go from the short leg here? Just double it. So x is 6. All right, number 20. I have neither the 30 or the 60 short or long. I have the hypotenuse. But I always want to go to the short side. And how do I do that? Simply divide by 2. So y is 9. And how do I go to the long leg? Just tap on a radical 3. So x is 9, the horrible 9. Radical 3. Okay, right, this last set is all Pythagorean theorem. Always identify where C is. First off, never hurts, whoops, that's a long line. Never hurts to identify where C is right off the bat. So when you're filling out your formula, You can simply say, I don't have this, I do have my B, and I do have my C. Always make sure C is in the right place. So you can put A squared here, X squared, it doesn't matter. So this is going to be A squared is equal to, well, let's make it easier, yeah. Let's do A squared plus, this is 123.1, sorry, 21, equals 243.36. Just put those in the calculator and square them. And then we're going to subtract 123.21 from both sides. That means A squared is equal to 120.15. If we square root both sides, we get A equals 10.96. Now, if you look at the direction, it says round the nearest 10. So that means 9 has to round up. So this is one of those weird circumstances where you have to put a whole number even though it's a decimal. All right, 22. I do have my A squared, and I have my B squared. What I don't have is my C squared. So this just takes 60.84 plus 17.64, that's a 6, equals c squared. So that's total 78.48. Square root, all you do, use your calculator. c is equal to 8.86. But I'm rounding here. This tells me to round up. So c is 8.9 miles. All right, I do have my C squared, so I don't have A squared. 
I have this, and I have C. Make sure C is in the right place. So I have A squared plus 44.89 equals 176.89. I subtract, that's a 9, sorry. And I get A squared equals 132. And now I simply square root both sides. And I get A is equal to 11.49. I'm rounding here. That tells me to round up. 11, wow. 11.5 centimeters. Last but not least, again, I don't have my C squared. So 12.2 squared plus 13.8 squared equals C squared. I get 190.44 plus 148.84. And I don't know what this is yet. The total is 339.28. But that's C squared. I want C, so I have to square root both sides. That is going to give me C equal to 18.42. This tells me to round down, so 18.4 miles. And that's my answer. That's it.